Hi guys. Well, it's a beautiful evening. A bit better than my last camping trip last weekend, where it was wet, windy and cold. Now it's warm. I'm up in Scotland. I'm in Galloway Forest Park and I'm about to go on a route uh, called Raiders Road, which uh, quite a few of you will know that have been up here. And I'm going to camp uh, somewhere along this route. There's a place called Otter's Pool and I'll see if that's any uh, use. Hopefully a lot of the uh, traffic will have gone by now, a lot of the daytime visitors will have gone and I'll be able to get a pitch. So, let's get the bike down this little trail which is here and find a place to camp. And I have got two bottles of beer with me tonight. I'm not going to make that mistake again. So guys, this is Raiders Road and it's the Forestry Commission Forest Road. And I've actually come from Clattering Shores Cafe by Clattering Shores Lock. Beautiful location and the cafe was brilliant. I was ready for the big slab of cake and coffee that I had. So having come down Raiders Road, I'm now at Otter Pool and it's beautiful. I've just been talking to somebody that camped here last night and they were saying that it is uh, has been very very busy today with day trippers. Not that many people at the moment camping and one or a couple of little motorhomes but that's about it. However I'm going to be up and away before the crowds come tomorrow because it'll be a nightmare when the hordes descend on this gravel track from either that direction or that direction it'll be a nightmare it's not that I don't like people just I don't like people anyhow I'll say it again let's go get the tent up actually I'm not going to put the tent up straight away here because there's still quite a few day trippers still seeing the nice evening out but they've all got kids so I guess they'll all uh, disappear in the next hour or so so I think I'll go I've already sorted the pitch out I'm gonna have I'll go and have a cup of tea save the beer for later because I have got a beer tonight so uh, we have the tent has been put up and I think tonight, because it's going to be very uh, warm, I think, or at least it's going to be dry, uh, I think I'm going to put the uh, tent up in the configuration where the uh, fly is only half over the tent. So you can set this up either with the full fly, you can set it up with half the fly or no fly. Well, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put the fly on uh, half of the tent in that configuration where my head is. Um, and then it's very easy then if it does rain or it gets cold, I can then very quickly pull it out. But in the meantime, I've remembered to get the beers. Because the last two trips away, I failed miserably. So they are going down into the water just to cool off. Maybe I should go in the water to cool off. So this is my fridge, for the beers anyway. And if you look down there, we've got two beers, nicely cooling, while well, I have a cup of tea and finish off getting the tent and everything up. <laughs> I'll show you around later on, before it goes dark. Well, we, are do, we do have a bit of wild camping going on here um, at Otter Pool. Bikes up there. I've got a picnic table with my food on. Tents pitched there. And while it's wild camping, it does have a toilet block. Well, that's predominantly for the tourists that come here through the day. But they're still open. 
but this is a beautiful location and I know some of you may well have been here and you know it does get a lot of midges and it gets a lot of people but I arrived there uh, rather late on well not late but about five o'clock and there's still a few families here but uh, they mostly have gone now and there's a couple of tents pitched one or two vans but that's it and there's just that slight breeze so the midges just haven't quite got out in their swarms yet so I'm going to be quick in case the wind drops but I've got a lovely location just up there um, as you can see there on the grass with the trees behind and then there's a car park and then the the actual uh, road oh look it's not a road it's a trail track it's a track gravel track but let's have a look around so I'm just here on the rocks with uh, this beautiful stretch of water and I think it's best if I just let you see that stretch So that's pretty amazing guys this wonderful sight got a nice warm evening sun's going down but should be there for a little bit longer and actually it's shallow enough that i can wade out to a sunny bit across there <laughs> so i've got my bottle of beer now haven't had anything to eat but i'll probably leave that until the sun's gone down just to enjoy it but look at how amazing this is Now there's still one or two people about um, and I think there's still one or two just making the best of the evening and uh, likely there'll be maybe half a dozen of us by the time everybody's gone um, and as long as the midges stay away <laughs> but I don't think they will apparently in the morning it'll be uh, full of them so I've got my midget net and I've got my uh, cream jungle lotion or whatever it's called but yeah beautiful little place and it's a great little uh, pitch to uh, have a night an overnighter there's a couple here that uh, stopped uh, last night and they're stopping tonight uh, I'll they, they left their tent up um, obviously keep their space and but I think I'll uh, wander off in the morning I don't think it'll get busy first thing so I'm not gonna have a rush off but uh, I'll end up heading somewhere else for tomorrow night but this is nice like this I would quite like to come here in winter I think it'll be really good in winter I can see midges now oh, the winds just dropped slightly okay guys I'll have a little walk around the rest of the site just to show you but for now I'm going to go and have my beer So I'll uh, have a little walk around, now, there's not much to walk around, it's um, basically what you see there <laughs> is this wild camp. This, obviously it's a location where people come for the day to uh, spend the day by the, in the pools because there's like lots of little pools among the rocks and uh, so there's lots of picnic benches i've mentioned there's uh, some toilets as well which are still open and i've just got pitched as you can see uh, just on this sort of little track here next to a picnic table and uh, for now i've pitched the tent for now i've pitched the tent with its half uh, cover on so i can see the stars when they come out but if it gets cool or the dew comes out then I'll uh, just whip that over and peg it down interestingly <laughs> it's called otter pool and there's your otter <laughs> I suspect there must have been otters here in days gone by to get the name otter pool so yeah it's a nice little uh, 
nice little flat spot up there I mean to be honest up in Galloway Forest there's loads of almost anywhere you go you'll find somewhere maybe to get a bit of a wild camp and whilst this is a wild camp because it's free um, it's sort of semi wild I mean there's some there's wild and wild isn't there but to be honest with you I really like it here I think this would be really good uh, in uh, autumn or winter so yeah just looking back up we've got a nice little bit of flat area and that goes I'll, I'll, have, I'll, I'll walk down and show you but it goes in either direction and then among the trees you could probably get uh, something going you know with your tarps and stuff like that the one thing I don't need to put a tarp up tonight <laughs> the last two occasions I've been away I've needed to uh, to actually put the tarp up because the weather was so bad including last weekend at Ullswater so <laughs> so I'm now just having a little walk uh, among these uh, rocks and I'm gonna have to watch what I'm doing otherwise I'll end up falling in the water so you can see there Um, the temperature's going down a little bit now because the sun has uh, certainly gone down from this side where well, it's gone down here now it's not gone down but the sun's beyond the horizon the thing is with these it's like lots of rocky pools and you can well you can you, you can walk across the other bank um, mostly crossing on the uh, on the rocks here Just getting your feet wet a little bit. <laughs> so we've <laughs> We're in the middle of the river almost now but on the rocks so it's really cool and just back there is the tent and we're in the middle of the river prove a point I'm going to uh, keep going you do have to get your feet wet a little bit but it's a nice evening so I have flip-flops on <clears throat> and there's your river beautiful location nice thing is with the, so many rocks and rocks at the side you could get a barbecue going if you put them on the rocks as long as you don't make a mess and don't leave any rubbish behind <clears throat> you're not going to cause any problems with forest fires out here in the middle of the river are you and that's the bank there of the opposite side to where I'm camping and if I come round in a meandering way you can get to the opposite side of the bank and there's a tent in the distance you could spend a few uh, you could <laughs> I could spend a couple of days here it'd be really nice the unfortunate thing for me with this timing is that um, tomorrow is a bank holiday a bank holiday Monday so this place if the weather's nice which I think it will be this place will be heaving I suspect and 
whilst I've taken up a picnic table because there's nobody else or very few other people here it just wouldn't be right me keeping the tent up I don't think so yeah so I'll move on tomorrow but I'll I'll come back doesn't get any better than this does it for uh, my budget well and truly beats my budget did I ever mention to you my budget's between six and twelve pounds I think I mention it every time don't I <clears throat> so just looking here you can see little pools little rocky pools and earlier on when there was families here that you know kids and families they're all sitting in them pools cooling off because it was quite warm when I arrived I mean, it's not unpleasant now but obviously the sun's gone down so it's a little bit cooler and that's the so the river going in that direction and you can see here the river coming down over these rocks a local I was talking to somebody that lives locally and they said that quite often the water is coming over these rocks a bit um, you know a bit higher slightly higher and the kids slide sort of slide themselves down the uh, some of the rocks into the pools beautiful location but I'm gonna go back to the bank now and just have a quick walk around got to watch where I'm walking got to have a walk around uh, the rest of the location <clears throat> just to uh, just to show you but I love this I uh, how do I get back <laughs> Yeah, I love this. It's uh, this will be a destination I come back to, as with most of the ones I find. So that's it. Back to dry land. <coughs> so just have a quick walk round and show you. So path goes up there and then it just joins back to the uh, the road that we came off so it's only a small area um, but there's plenty of little spots to to pitch <coughs> and uh, one or two uh, camper vans they just stop in the car park and then other people pitching tents along the river So just sort of walking away from the river now there's a car park where as i say most of the cars will, and vans will park uh, the vans wouldn't be able to get down to where uh, where the bike is but in among the trees you've got plenty of little spots to park if you're in a van or a vehicle and uh, there's lots of you know, you've looked back that way lots of woodland so if you're uh, hammock camping I, I guess actually you're going to be able to do it here as well and I'm just walking now away from the sort of parking areas although there's more parking areas in this direction I'm walking away from the uh, the river and <coughs> we have uh, a set of toilets so although it's so although it's wild camping we do have a set of toilets which uh, I guess are there for people who do the day visits here there's nothing nothing no facilities other than a toilet um, but it's pretty good hiya yeah, hi, you're right how are you doing yeah very well you enjoying yourselves really marvelous, isn't, it? isn't it so as I say there's a toilet block but nothing other than the toilets so it's very very basic um, it's not a campsite obviously it's just the toilets are there for you know for use of people who visit the beauty spot but with it being Scotland you you're allowed to uh, wild camp uh, anywhere most places uh, as long as it doesn't interfere with you know locals houses and things like that 
and I've just come through the wooded area now going back to the trail which is a it's called Raiders Road so it's a forestry commission uh, forest trail and it's gravel track uh, all the way so we just <laughs> I'm just gonna have to duck to get under the trees here but we're, we're gonna go oops by this little path <laughs> There we go. So we're back to the uh, forest trail now, which I'm stood on. And uh, this forest trail goes uh, several miles uh, through, you know, the, the woodland and along by the river. Not always following the river or matching the river, but uh, meandering in and out with the river. And um, as you can see it's just gravel tracks so it's a dead easy one to come down you don't need any skills you don't need any practice you could come down this one it's pretty straightforward and <clears throat> lots of locations along the forest trail um, you, you can camp so as I travel down here there was numerous people uh, had pulled mostly vans uh, into locations um, alongside the forest trail But it's a beautiful location and then you know you're looking in in sort of that direction it's all woodland very quiet peaceful i was speaking to one or two people that are uh, camping here tonight there's not that many but the one or two that i've been speaking to um have been here several times and do come regular so it seems a very popular location and for bank holiday weekend for the wild camping side here at otterpool i'm surprised how quiet it is i reckon there's one two three i think there's three vans maybe four three or four vans with people that are camping in the vans and two tents that i can see so just to just to show you i've walked through the woods on the trail and i'm just coming back in to otterpool the location that we're uh, stopping tonight so guys not much else to show you that's it otterpool many of you will know it certainly yeah uh, from the UK I know there's one or two in fact somebody mentioned this on Facebook this is why I've come here and fortunately the midges haven't been as bad as I expected because there was a slight wind so there's nothing much else to tell you about uh, the place um, I think other than the fact that there's no uh, stand pad, there's no water it's not a campsite so there's no water and if you come here you do need to bring your own water uh, with you So that's it um, there's a little bit down there but it's just the same as what we've seen and very very nice i don't want to recommend this to anybody because although it is a popular place i don't want anybody else to know about it <laughs> Yeah, so the uh, the path goes down there but again it just joins to the road as i understand and there's obviously one or two people down there there's a little bit of barbecue going on but i'd say there's probably what one two three there's about four groups of people that's it ranging from me on my own to family to friends that are that way so yeah it's all really good i would recommend it but just don't want anybody to come but me
Well, it's a beautiful morning. The sun's shining. I think it's only about eight o'clock. Beautiful, beautiful location. Just starting to get packed up. Got the bike under the trees just to uh, shelter it. And the tent to come down very shortly. Morning campers. Well, Otter Pool. Beautiful location. Got a nice pitch going there. It's eight o'clock in the morning, the sun is shining. I'm just starting to get packed up with the bike. But what can I say about it? Well, to be honest, I don't need to say anything. Just look. However, there's no wind this morning and the midges are out. So I'm going to finish off packing, get the tent put down with the midge net on. Beautiful location. If you get the chance to come to Galloway Forest, this is just one of the locations you can come to. There's many stunning places that daytime people don't come and visit. This is a big uh, tourist spot through the day. But at night time, even in uh, end of May, there are three vans, camper vans, little ones, uh, two tents, and that's it. So we got the place to ourselves. And it was fantastic last night, a little bit of breeze, so the midges weren't out until late on. Uh, they're out this morning. Stunning. Best come when there's no midges. Check the season. Thanks for watching, guys.